Hello from LifeFast in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm Ken Wigman with 30CC, and I'm here with Need to Breathe. Uh, can you introduce yourselves, guys? I am Bear. My name's Joe. Bo. And I'm Seth. Great. We almost had a rhyme going there. Um, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the name Need to Breathe and where it's come from? Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, Need to Breathe came from a story that I heard um, whenever I was like growing up. I went to a youth camp. And uh, they told a story about Socrates and one of the messages. And um, Socrates was teaching some students, uh, like, right beside a pond. They were just asking questions, and he was, you know, talking with them and teaching them. A student asked a question, you know, how do I know when I'm truly seeking after my purpose in life, seeking after God? And uh, he didn't answer the question. He stood up and walked over to the student and took his head and just held it under the water for several minutes. I mean, just holding the student underwater until he's almost, you know, on the verge of drowning. He lets him up and you know he's gasping for air, he can't breathe, and he says, you know, when you need God as much as you need to breathe, that's when you know you're truly seeking after him. Wow. It's a little deep, but <laughs> yeah, it's very deep. Is there any significance to the fact that it's all one word or looks no. better that way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's easy enough. Um, what can you tell us about Daylight? The new CD is coming out. Well, Daylight's our current record. It's out right now, and uh, it's, um, you know, it, it, we went to England to make it. Um, we thought we were going to a big time. We have Elvis Costello Studio in England, South England, and we're going to, like, we're from a really small town from Possum Kingdom, South Carolina, and I uh, thought we were going to this major, you know, huge, big studio, big major label, Atlantic Records, and we showed up, and it was actually a barn that was built in, like, the 1600s. <laughs> So the whole time there was like farm animals and things like that all around where we recorded and uh, they had the horses, they just left the doors open and the horses would like stick their heads in as you're tracking guitars and stuff. So anyway, it's insane and uh, it's a lot of fun. And we ha we've just finished our new record, which is called The Heat, that comes out August 28th okay. and we're extremely excited about it. Um, we got Ed Rowland from Collective Soul, the singer of Collective Soul, produced some of the tracks and uh, this guy Rick Beato who done a bunch of records that we really liked. and. We produced four of the tracks ourselves on this record, and we, you know, didn't sleep for months and <laughs> made, you know, a record that I think really reflects who we are, uh, even more than the last time we've we've had a enough, uh, I guess, a couple of months to tour and get confident enough that we could show ourselves on this record. So we're really, really excited about it, and proud of it. Great. Um, how would you describe the band's style or your musical style? Um, normally we just say rock and roll. That's kind of our thing, with the roll being the important part. Um, but you know it's not it's not all that heavy but it's on this record it's everything from there's a song uh, called wash by the water on a record where we it's kind of an old gospel sort of feel we use a gospel choir on the record a song that I wrote you know about my dad and it's a very emotional kind of some of the southern stuff because we're from south carolina so slide guitars from monica's um, but then there's some straight up kind of rock stuff you know ballads there's a worship track on a record that's a new single now called yahweh um, it's doing really well, and just, you know, it's kind of all over the board, really not uh, pegged very easily, I don't think. All right, thank you.